Well, they were once the hub of rural communities, you know, where folks could go to buy some goods, catch up on the local town Definitely. gossip. <laughs> and while the kids ran around outside with those RC colas and old school candy. Yeah, if you haven't guessed it, we are talking about country stores. Right. News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell shows us how a young man is bringing one store in Sumner County back to life. Walking into the South Tunnel General Store. Hey, John. Hi. Hi. Hello. I come down here to see what everybody's talking about. It doesn't take long from the nostalgia to hit you. Oh, yeah, I can see myself now at that desk at Westmoreland High School going. <laughs> Especially for John Hamilton. We'd come down and wait for the train to del deliver the, the mail. He hasn't set foot inside the country store since he was a young child. Same goes for Harry Woodward, who was immediately flooded with the memories of the past when he walked in. Like when someone thought that they could take on wasps. The man said, you know, wasps won't sting after the first of September, and it was covered with them old red wasps. And he reached up, twisted that thing off, and next thing you know, they do sting. They do sting after the first of September. It stung both men to see the store close in 1961 after about 100 years in business. I didn't know that existed <laughs> until I saw it. The store is coming alive again, 62 years later. Well, these type stores are gradually, or maybe rapidly disappearing. Thanks to 23-year-old John Oliger. So it, it's been passed through a lot of years. Oliger has always wanted to own an old country home and fix it up. He got a two for one when he discovered the South Tunnel General Store in his backyard. immediately getting to work refurbishing it. Most of the store money goes to fixing up the store. Stocking it with food, classic sodas, antiques, everything you would expect to find at an old country store. Miss Denny that used to live in the house would make things and this was one of the doll kits she had. That's a big gamble for him to come in here and just you know, try to start things up again from nothing. Hamilton knows it's easy to sit back and watch time fly. And we rush through life too quickly. And then you wake up one day and you're old. The memories, they may come and go, though this community feels grateful. They're getting a chance to relive some of the best moments of their life. It does bring up memories that you haven't thought about, you know, in a few years. And that's something you can't put a price tag on. I never thought I would find a community like this. Everyone here is so friendly. Right. Bye. Bye. And the whole reason I'm doing this store is for the community. In Sumner County, Erin Cantrell, News Channel 5. I want to go just for that candy. Yeah. That bit of honey and rock candy. Anyway, right now the store is open Friday and Saturdays from 11 in the morning until 7 at night.